Well, hello there, beauties. I want to welcome you to my channel. If you are a longtime supporter, hey y'all. And if you aren't, hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my videos. So today I'm going to give you five products that I just think have no business being in the beauty community. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure you know about my experiences with these products and why you should avoid them. So we're going to get started right away and I'm just going to pull stuff up and we're going to keep it rolling. So the first item I have is the Elf Face, the Elf Face, the Elf Mineral Face Primer. And this is what it looks like. This stuff is garbage. So I'll put a little out so you can see what it looks like. This is how it comes out. It has this. It's, it's really thick to be a primer and it has this sheen to it. As you can see, I'm trying to rub it out. It has this gold sheen to it. Okay. Now, it does not go away. It just stays like that. So it's like a gold look. And what the direction said, pretty much, oh, it doesn't say it on here. And this is in the color Radiant Glow. Now, what the direction said pretty much was you can either put it on your face or you can mix it in with your um, foundation. And I decided to do both. I put it on my face. I looked a hot, ashy mess. I mixed it in with my foundation several times. I used three different foundations and I looked a ashy, shimmery mess. So you can see the stuff is still, yeah. So this is basically how it looks on your face if you're a brownie like me. Now, I don't know if you're lighter or if you're darker what it looks like, but I'm telling you, it was not cool. So it looked like this. It just was a ash look. And I've had this and I've tried it so many times. I wanted to love it, but it's trash. Um, I think I spent $3.00. Three or six dollars, whatever it was, it was a waste of my money. Don't waste your money, especially if you're a brownie my color. Don't even waste your time on this one. I don't know about the other ones because they have other ones in that line, but that one was crap. The next item I have, which I've been saying this for the longest, I hate this with a prop with a passion, is the Pot of Miracle Lip Revitalizer by Ruby Kisses. And this is what it looks like just like a tin of Carmex. This stuff is the worst. It just messed up my lips. It burned them. It made them so extra chapped. I had to pretty much take a month and a half to rebuild my lips back from this, just messing it up. I don't know what's in here that made it do that, but I thought I was the only person, but plenty of people have, um, talked about they hate this because of the same reasons it burns your lips and then you have to keep applying it it's like your lips get addicted to it and if you don't use it your lips are just on fire they're like on crack and they need a hit that's not any product i'm trying to have anything to do with so yeah trash um the next product i have is this ruby kisses set and forget it um hd 16 hour flawless setting spray now, I've tried to love this as well, and I just can't. It's horrible. Um, this is in a color Earth. You can see it's like a brownie color. And I'll put some on my hand so you can see what it looks like. And it's that orangey color that you see. And that's what the problem was. It was coming up orangey on my skin. It wasn't making me look good. It was making me look stupid. So I pretty much ended up having to go back and redo makeup because I'd be going outside and people be looking at me funny, not knowing that my makeup is all messed up because of the setting powder. And then don't take no pictures. Don't take no pictures. Yeah, so forget that. Don't set it, just forget it. Um, the next thing is this Sinful Shine with Gel Tech from Sinful Colors. This stuff is horrible. It's a cute color, but it's so hard to get off. It stains your nails. Even if you put a protectant underneath, um, this stuff is garbage. I don't, I, I was done with Sinful. I tried to try them again, but they not on nothing. 
Like the color is beautiful. It's just don't nobody got time to be stripping their nails every time they use this stuff because you're using all that cheap stuff. So simple colors, you lost my money. Like I'm done. This is like the third time one of your polishes has done that to me and I've had to get my nails shaved down and get it off. No, it's not worth the $2 or the dollar. But anywho, the last item I have is a Kabuki brush by Wet n Wild. And this is what it looks like. This is the roughest kabuki brush I've felt in my life. It does nothing for my face but make it not feel good. Do not waste your money on this. This brush is like $3 and it does nothing that a kabuki brush should do. Look, it, you see how it looks like it's just like a bale of cotton up there? Like this looks like what my natural hair looks like. Yeah, it just looks like a bale of cotton. And that's not what I need on my face because it feels a little bit rough. I don't know if, I think they've been coming out with some new ones. Like, you guys know I ride for Wet n Wild, but this right here is some bull. So, if they come out with some new brushes, make sure you check for the texture. Because this, it's, it's, I don't even know why I bought it. I should have tried it out. That's what it was. I didn't try it out before I bought it. But, fill your brushes before you buy them. This right here is garbage. So, I mean... I've wasted quite a bit of money on stuff, but it's all good because, hey, I'd rather do it and let you guys know so you don't make the same mistakes. I want to thank you for stopping by. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that button before you go. Comment, like, rate me. If you have any questions about anything that I didn't say, let me know. And if you are interested in this look, I will put the tutorial down below. So, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy. Hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.